Hello, hello, YouTube. My name is Stacy. I'm known here as Flighty Rambler, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel today. Today I am continuing with the Ugly Art Club 5-Minute Challenge. This is hashtag TUAC 5-Min Challenge, and it's hosted by the Ugly Art Club, who are Dee Dee, Tiffany, and Kristen. These three ladies have YouTube channels and Instagram pages, as well as a website for the Ugly Art Club. I'll have all of that information listed in my description box below. Go check out those fabulous artists. They all have a host of videos and information to share with you. I'm just going to begin by flipping through the journal I'm using for this challenge. It is a book I found at a local thrift store and it has this amazing handmade paper in it. And it's really thirsty paper as I've learned. So I'm going to begin with a collage, putting down some matte gel medium to seal the paper so nothing soaks through. And I'm going to collage down a number of dictionary pages. Uh, thesaurus and spelling book pages all featuring the word stitch. I have done this for the last couple of uh, projects in this challenge and I just like it. I really <laughs> like the different variations of color from the paper and I really enjoy having the word highlighted over and over and over. <laughs> I did forget to film starting my timer for this challenge, uh, but I will go ahead and pause the timer when I want to dry these layers. Once I come back after drying, I'm going to take a micron pen and outline and circle the words stitch all over my page. Once I get that done, I kind of know the placement of where I want these gorgeous rhinestoned flowers. Uh, these are harvested from a sari or a length of fabric I picked up at Value Village a number of months ago. I haven't done anything with them, so I went ahead and fussy cut them <laughs> out a little closer. And now I'm going to place them on my page to represent some flowers. I'll go ahead and glue those down with matte gel medium and then it's going to take a bit of time for it all to dry. And then it's time to turn my attention to the stitching part of this challenge. I'm going to make it easy on myself by pre-punching my holes and I'm going to use this pink thread to create some X's on my page. Uh, before I complete the X I will add a green glass bead just to add a bit of something else on the page and I really like how that looks. 
I made it simple. I didn't, I, I could have done more stitching, but my hands aren't doing so good. <laughs> I'm due for carpal release surgery in a couple of weeks on my right hand. And then after that, I'll have the left done. So things aren't working so great at the moment with my hands, but I can at least get these uh, X's on my page. And in retrospect, in looking at it, I wish I had used black thread instead of the pink. I think it would have added more of a pop of color. And as I'm finishing tying off my stitching, my alarm goes off. I'm, I'm pretty much due for time there, but I'm not quite done. There is a couple things I wanted to do. The first of which is to highlight the words stitch all over my page by using this neon uh, pink jelly roll pen. And then I'm just going to add some pink all over my page and use a damp finger to move it around. I have a non-porous surface, so before the ink has a chance to set, I'm just gonna use it like some paint. And then I want to highlight the word stitch even more by adding in some green Stabilo All. I'm just going to circle the words and activate it with my water brush. And I love how it looked. That pink is unrepentant. It is definitely uh, shiny and sparkly and really satisfies the goblin and magpie in my soul to really uh, use up the sparklies and the shinies. And I'm really happy that I was able to use some things that I've had in my stash for a while but haven't looked at. And I think I'll be reaching for fabrics and trims like this more often. And that's it for my video today. I'd like to thank you for watching. I encourage you, please give me a like, a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And a note that I do have my Etsy shop open. I'll be adding some player piano paper and um, flashcards and things like that soon. And until my next video, bye bye.